So now we have our selection set set up uh, and we're ready to take a look at how we can use them. Now, since we don't need this anymore, there's a little arrow here that we can do and we can just move it over so we have more uh, screen space to be animating with. And then our selection set HUD that you can see here, um, we can minimize it and maximize it. You can also lock it just on there so that it'll never move from there. If you unlock it, you can move it around as you're animating. And so um, let's take a look at what we can do with this now. So if we open this up, <clears throat> we can see that we have all the groups, that, all the sets that I have uh, created. And we'll go over these in a little bit, but we're going to take a look uh, just right now with Electric Block. And I use this, this is my blocking path, so I have less controls on here as I start blocking, so I don't have to key as many controls and manage as many controls. So what we can do is um, on here, you can just click on it and you can uh, start turning off a whole bunch of other things. So if we just want to look at the block, we could turn this off um, and go down it from there. What I do is I use control shift and I left click on there and we can isolate them. And then as I go through, if I wanted to have some more things in here, some more detailed ones, I can just still uh, click on this to isolate more and more controls. And by default, I should have mentioned that um, when you create a character, a uh, lecture in there, you automatically get a selection set with all controls in here as well um, and the character display. So you can, if I take these off, what I can do is just with uh, her lecture, I can globally turn off all the controls or her display or both. But of course we want to see Electra and then I can just isolate these in here. Now the other thing you'll notice here is a little pinning uh, button here. And what I could do is, because I know this is what I want to key, I want to key all the controls in here. So when I pin this, what this does is scopes out my channels for me. And scoping channels, all that means is it puts it into your graph editor so you have all your channels for those controls that you have set up. So you don't have to um, think anymore uh, about what you're keying. So as you're posing your character out, if I'm just uh, grabbing the character and posing it here, um, when I hit, if I take off the pinning, you can see it's just got that control in there. So if I hit K to key it, it only keys that control, but uh, nothing else has a key on it. But when I pin this, um, even if I'm not selected on anything, I key it. Uh, now it'll key all those controls for me. So if I look at this, it's got everything in there. You can see the little pin in there. And this is all the controls in my blocking group. So this is really handy to be able to make sure that you're keying what you want to key and you're not missing any controls as you're animating and moving along from there. So um, from there, what we could do um, is we can start posing our character. And uh, there's a couple of things here. If uh, I hit Shift F1, you can see there's a bunch of little uh, hints and tips in there. And there's a few things in here we'll go over um, to do it. And one of them is G, which is the channel widget. So if we bring up G, now we can see, if I select this control here that I moved, we can see that I have keys on there and the values that we have on there. We also have this little uh, broom here that when you click on it, now it just resets at the default, goes back to zeros in there. So it's helpful to be able to just select multiple controls and clean them all up, go back to zero. We also have um, a copy and paste feature here, and we can also snap controls to the last selected. So if I had that and I select shift select this and go there, you can see now it's snapping that control to there. But again, we can just do that sweep and do it. And when you hit G again, then it just goes away. So it's just up when you need that value. So the next thing I want to talk about is our uh, global transform mode, control shift. And this is something I use 100% of the time, all the time in all my animation uh, going on. So I'm just gonna switch this to 100 just so we can see our uh, ticks a little bit better. And um, what it is, is if I go here and I'm just gonna hit K and because I have this pinned, it said I key on all my channels, all my uh, uh, controls uh, that are part of this Electra block group. So now for the control shift, what this does is it allows us to move controls uh, around any uh, pivot and it'll work with our last selected pivot. So if I wanted to select the hands and the, um, and the CLG and I wanted to make her bend uh, sideways, normally when you do that, uh, if you grab this, you rotate, everything just rotates around its own uh, axis that it has there. But if you hold control G, now it moves the controls all together. So you could start just uh, rotating the character around without having to uh, do it. So if I went back to here, 
And again, if I want to go back to uh, the default, I can just sweep everything. Hit K, make sure that I get everything keyed in that group and get rid of that is after. So now um, we've been able to uh, pose that character really quickly. And I, I should have, you know, if I wanted to, I could have grabbed the pole vectors as well for this to do it. But instead of moving these individually like this and moving them around, again, what we could do is if I went on to this, um, I can select these and you know what? I'm going to select the arm controls as well uh, just to have it and again it's around whatever my last pivot is so if I have it here and I use control if I don't use control shift it just moves like this if I use control shift then you can see it's moving around that pivot that we have here and that's essentially what I've set up here so I have a few things so I just have my upper body mover you can see the handles here and now we can just do that so really quickly we can just kind of have our group set up so that we could start animating our character um, as we want from there so for if we wanted to, we can even just take the entire character, rotate it up. But the one thing I want to mention, let me just go into here and just sweep everything again, um, is that if we open this up. Now, the one thing is, if I wanted to create a new set, let me just create a new set here like we had. Uh, but I'm going to have this arm selected last. And now in here, we can do the same thing. We can right click and we can... Um, we can create a uh, set from selected, put it on here, and I'm just going to name this test right now. So now whenever I grab this, it'll grab it, but I don't want that pivot. I want it to be in the center here. So if we take a look at our uh, selection that pane, because uh, again, this is one of the points where uh, we have a few extra things in here so that when you're setting it up, you could do it. Now you can see this little highlighted one here, and that's the that's where it is, that's where our primary control is. So every time we select this set, it's going to put the pivot there. But I don't want it there. I want it on my CLG. So all we have to do is go to the uh, CLG. If we right click on that, um, now we can go make primary control. And you can see it's switched to uh, the highlight switch to here. So now if I click off of it and I click set, now we have the proper pivot for doing all of our animation in there. So uh, once you have that, so if you ever make a mistake, you put a you set it up with the wrong pivot you can just go in there and make the primary pivot to whatever you want it to be so that when you select things it'll be in the right spot so um from there we're going to get into a few more uh animation things uh going on from here but uh hopefully that's a good start to understand how we could start using selection sets with displays, with our pinning, scoping our channels, and being able to set pivots so that we can use our global transform mode of control shift to be able to move groups of controls around together.